Alright guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to use this opportunity to sort of show you guys what you can do with just one day out on Fraser Island. I've been out to Fraser Island only once actually, but studied up a fair bit on Fraser at various times. So we've got three of the kids with us, one other mate, I'm in my Raptor, he's in his Navara. We are going to go out, check out some of the sites and just see exactly how much we can get done in one day. We're aiming for around a 9am ferry. Well, barge to get across to Fraser Island. And we're heading straight up. We're going to hit some sand dunes, McKen Lake Mackenzie, and see what else we can get up to. We'll see how the tides are, if we can get up to the uh, lighthouse. We're just going to play it as it goes and bring you guys along for the ride. And uh, that was uh, our friends as well singing last night in the start of the video there that I chucked in. So let's get on to the trip. So we ended up dropping down to 20 PSI all around in town. It's only a short drive out to Inskip Point. Uh, gonna head out Inskip Point. is sort of infamous for people getting bogged. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna see how I go in two wheel drive, just cause I'm an idiot. Um, and if I don't make it, then I'll chuck it in all wheel drive, but we're down at 20 PSI, so we shouldn't have any dramas getting in. And it looks so much different now, because not too long ago, a year or two ago, they had a, um, big, uh, what's it called, a thingo hole? Uh, that a bunch of the beach eat, or, eat itself. A sinkhole, just out to the right here. So there's a big sinkhole. This used to be all campgrounds right here. So it's really crazy that it's not there anymore. That's wild. That was all bush before last time I came up here. So that's crazy. People's caravans and everything got washed away. So not too much fun for them. All right. I'm gonna See how we go getting out here onto the point. Easy. You left it in two wheel or you went four wheel drive? Oh no, just two wheel. saying goodbye to the mainland on our way to Fraser. Pretty pumped. I didn't think by any means I'd be going to Fraser anytime soon. I was literally saying to uh, friends only the other day, I'm like, yeah, we definitely need to hit up Fraser. As soon as it gets warm, we'll go to Fraser. And then literally like a few days later, I'm on the barge going to Fraser. So yeah, it's all part of it, guys. Stay positive. You know, always look at everything on the bright side and make things happen. You know what I mean? Like definitely think this is better than being stuck at home while this uh, lockdown's going on so yeah Fraser Island let's go like we got the match tracks
cruising man in the middle got the rough rider there. Are they just taking him down to the barge so he doesn't get stuck again? Yeah. Smart. All right, been on the island for 10 minutes. Already done a big recovery. Um, that was good. That's the first time using my Max Trex. Well, I didn't use them. We used them for someone else, but got them off the island. <laughs> literally, literally we're just off the uh, barge. So yeah, I'm gonna keep motoring on and try and get up to some of the dunes. All right, let's go kiddos. So we're heading up to the Kira Sandblow. Apparently it's one of the better spots to see and have some fun on the sand dunes. I've got my board right here, which is cardboard and the kiddos have got their boogie boards. So go give this a red hot go on the sand dunes. And it's about 10.30, I think. So we're doing pretty good for time considering. Quarter past oh, quarter past 11, sorry, my bad. So we're doing okay for time. We had doubts we're going the right way, but push through guys, you can make it. Whew, it's a bit of a walk. Absolutely phenomenal up here, big sand dunes. Definitely a bit of a trek, but I think worth the trek. Mitch? No. No? <laughs> so, he doesn't think so, but yeah, it's definitely very cool up here. It's like another world. So one of the coolest things about these sand dunes, it seems to be, it almost looks like rusty metal and it is sand. It's just the coolest thing to see. Go kick it. Like, it genuinely looks like a rusty boat or something and it just like, you step on it and your feet just break it down like it's nothing. Super rad. There you go. What do you need a steeper dune? Like the one over there or something? I don't know, but real hard work getting up the hill. <laughs> Not quite. And it's real enough fun. Damn it. You is good though. <sighs> Woo! Big old walk and not easy, that's for damn sure. But worth it in my opinion. Unfortunately, the sand dunes are out. We can't slide down though. It's a bit annoying, I guess, but still awesome. All right, we left the dunes. We got out 
Kids are absolutely pooped. We're on our way to Eli Creek. No, he's not even running. He's just sitting there. Still <laughs> cool though. Go around the aeroplane. <laughs> All right, so we were making our way to Airlie Creek, but if you go just up past Airlie Creek, you come across the shipwreck. For the life of me, I cannot remember the name of it right now, and unfortunately, I'm not that vlogger that knows all of that information, but it is super rad on low tide to be able to come and check this out. You can definitely still see it on high tide, but when it's low tide, you can actually get, you know, fairly well in and around it. So very, very cool. Alright, so we have we have the hot tip. What is it, Marcus? It is the SS Mahino, once the Trans Tasman record holder. And or what making it fast? Or? Yeah. It's not oh. very fast now, yeah. mate. No. So it must have been a drag racer. He could go fast but couldn't turn. <laughs> I ran into ran into Fraser Island, so Yeah, there's no towing this off. Unreal. Hey Dad! Yeah. Alright, so a quick little burn back down the beach, back past the What's it called? Aeroplane and the airstrip. Back to Eli Creek. Spend some time there and then we'll start having to make our way back down south. So you can see a decent amount of the island in a day. Um, we haven't been going hard by any means, sticking to speed limits, just um, cruising along. And you know, we're still, it's a pretty, it was a pretty massive walk to the dunes more than anything. That sucked up a fair bit of time. But uh, yeah, still absolutely enjoyable for the cost of 130 for the um, for the barge, and then what 50 bucks for a uh, permit, a month-long permit. So pretty damn good. We'll head to uh, Eli Creek and enjoy ourselves for the afternoon. We want to go for a walk in the water. So for those of you not already in the know, with Eli Creek, it's actually a freshwater spring. Comes out just up here a little bit and runs year round non-stop super clean super fresh water it's absolutely stunning around here and very much a tourist destination hence why i was like if you're not already in the know it's a little bit shallow at the moment though so we'll go for a walk up the end see what it looks like usually used to float down it but it's looking real shallow Come on, bossy. Come on, boss. Just drop yourself in and you'll float in the water. So, last time I was at Eli Creek, it was pretty deep and you could float down it. And it's got real shallow, which is weird. Like, I guess the water height hasn't got any lower. The sand has got higher. So, pretty, not disappointing, but it was very cool to float down. One of the guys said they might have just seen a whale, so we're, we're shooting the drone up to see if we can go find this whale. Pretty pumped. I think it'd definitely be super rad if the kids could see a whale. Um, it'd be amazing if we could see it again from the beach. We're going to send the drone up, see if we can find it, where he's off to. So send the drone up now.
Not me. Well, that's a day of Fraser done and dusted, guys. Dingoes, eagles, uh, whales, it was all there. Eli Creek, sand dunes, one day, 9 a.m. on the ferry and 4.30 back. Still in time for some dinner. Had breakfast in town, so what a ripper day, guys. 10 out of 10, recommend Fraser to anyone. It's always, for me, my very first time I came to Fraser, it exceeded all expectations. Um, and it always, always brings a smile to my face. It's just such an amazing place. You have to get out here to Fraser Island. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace out.